Right, so first of all, we're going to do the top grill. I need to get rid of the ST badge, which is behind here. So um, in order to get that off, first of all, take that panel off. Um, so there's just four screws uh, that just push in there like that. Behind here we have, that is the ST badge one there, which is just uh, an eight millimeter bolt. And then there is two clips on either side, here and here. And then we'd have to detach the um, bonnet open catch there. And then that should all just pull out from the bottom. So I've pulled out the bonnet lock from inside the forward badge and we've took out the clips from behind and then now it should just yank out. And there we go, we're left with the grill and all the dirt that I'm gonna clean up as well. Um, so yeah, basically it just sits under there with two clips and then on there the side and the side. And um, yeah, so that one's off now. Uh, moving on to these bottom grill. So I've now got the second coat of primer on, which is sat on here, getting both inside and out of them honeycombs. Give it a good spray over. Um, that's probably gonna be the final coat of primer to be fair, because it's not actually done a bad job. So after this will be the gloss black. Put that on there and then crack on. So I'm just gonna get these grills a little clean. So again, using the Koch Kemi um, Green Star. Just gonna give it all a bit of a quick clean around here and in here as well. Let that sit a minute and then give it a scrub with the microfiber. Right, so I left the gloss black grill behind to dry overnight. I've just fitted this Unsport grill on. So just to show you, basically it fits over with these clips here and they just clip in all along underneath. And that is why um, you need to keep the frame of the old grill behind. So all that I need to do now is get the black um, screws and screw them in there. So there's four, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and that keeps the top in. And the bottom's already held in. And then that should just clip straight into the bottom bumper. So I've just popped in the upper grid as well, which works exactly the same as the other one. There are the clips behind here, so there's actually four clips along the bottom. And then along the top you can put two screws, I'm not sure if I'm going to yet, and it doesn't look like it needs it, but uh, I'll probably do it to tidy it up. But yeah, we've got both the grills ready to go on, and all I've got to do now is put them in place, and um, that should be done.